the young six coming for the goddamn semen that shit pay me oh. what's up guys what's up guys man i want to talk about the recent song am i dropped and then what people are now saying about the song because uh, i happens to be like yes mention a name and uh, that name uh, happens to be young sis in a friendly way and uh, you we understand that uh, young sis and mi had a recent uh, you know beef or you know for some times now they've been beefing each other this is owing to the fact that at an interview mi claimed that he called young sis and something like that and then young sis never responded and all those things and young sis was quick to respond to mi's uh, interview and then decide to like say something negative about mi and the beef culminated into something serious but right now mi is dropping a song and that song happens to be like yes mi is still like you know opening the fresh wounds of the beef and uh, but right now people are really responded to that and saying that it is the culture of um, the hip-hop industry and uh, it should be a, a particular healthy beef we understand that uh, mi and vector had a beef until um, you know and hennessy decided to you know bring them together and then they squash the beef in the process but right now we're having a beef between mi and young sis but uh, based on the Nigeria popularity i think uh, mi is more popular than uh, young sis because young sis is no longer in nigeria right now uh in us and uh, i think uh, young sis making a beef song about mi it needs more promotion in nigeria to actually uh, get it into the ears of uh, a lot of nigerian fans that is something i believe about that before i jump right in to start talking about this because this is going to be like a classic one today i want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing my videos across social media platforms being a part of it is all interesting for me and if you are new here click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos guys before i continue with all of this i want you to listen to the um just a snippet of mi's uh, new song uh talking about uh, young seas talking about a uh, vector and that can actually escalate into a beef and i like the beef because uh is um the culture of hip-hop that is something i believe because uh, about 70 uh, percent of hip-hop culture uh hip-hop songs is always on beef and uh, that is too uh, it's a bit healthy because if you don't like somebody's um you know somebody's face uh somebody's actions about you somebody's um you know attitude towards you you just go into the vocal booth and then make a song about it and yes boom it's all in the street and a lot of people get to enjoy it and i think uh, that is the, the culture and that is what emma is trying to bring back in the music industry right now i hope uh, young sis replies to this let's listen look at young six coming for the goddamn semen that she paid me oh. so now you understand that how he called uh you know um uh, young six it said young six you know coming for his semen i i think uh that is um <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, something uh, young sis will not allow to slide. That is something I believe because um, you know, looking at the record of their you know beef, you will get to understand a whole lot of it and uh, how it's trending out on social media. Uh, I remember that uh, Emma at an interview with Ikechuku spoke about young sis. You know, make a, a kind of a statement about young sis, which never sat well with young sis. Um, I have this uh, interesting headline in the past you love asmatting people i won't take it anymore young sis this is mi after he told him during an interview speaking about mi in in his video young sis expressed anger at a recent interview the rapper that is mi had where he claimed to ha had uh, called him he said mi was lying and he never got any call later on the video young sis revealed that the anoti rapper signed an artist who was always dissing him uh that is uh that was the genesis of the song i think uh, it should be like uh, among uh, others um 
<laughs> and the black bones and the rest and i have to understand that you know from a kind of view and uh, i still understand that it is the culture you know it is the culture of hip-hop because if you want to grow hip-hop um in our you know in nigeria right now because uh, afrobeat uh is far ahead of hip-hop um you know kind of culture in nigeria i think uh, we have to like rely on this and then go into vocal booth and express your feelings about somebody not you know making videos and throwing it on uh, social media like twitter instagram and the rest for a lot of people to respond to i i, I believe that mi has taken a giant stride right now and decided to make a beef song against um you know young sis and uh, people will be expecting something like uh beefing from uh, young sis at the end of the day i think that is the culture but you should understand also that uh, to an extent when you talk about uh, the biggest rap artist in uh, nigeria you should be calling the lies of emma baga you should be calling the lies of mood nine you should be calling the lies of vector and um you should be calling um, also the lies of olamide but to an extent olamide is now you know a kind of infusing the uh, afrobeat like singing and other things into hardcore rap and uh, people don't really look into that direction to say olamide is a hardcore rap artist olamide has been uh, a great hardcore rap artist you know remember the days where he did um you know most of the songs uh about um you know the streets in nigeria and i think uh, olamide has done well for himself but right now the culture is gradually coming back and uh, the lives of emma abaga is trying to you know kind of throw it open for a lot of people to see i kind of understand how uh the beef um you know kind of uh conf a, a, a kind of conflict happened between emma abaga and uh, vector at a point in time where they went into the vocal booth to talk this themselves talk about judas rat you know uh, the judas and uh, the vipers and the rest and now emma is starting the same beef with uh, young sis i think young sis needs to go into the culture because this is an opportunity for him to want to make some money that is something i believe let's listen to emma at an interview where he spoke about uh, young sis in his song <laughs> freestyle if you don't say i'm the guy that's the lie because i'm the guy listen eh? if i beef with you gonna make you rich so you gotta pay me eh? and me and vector are cool even though we don't chat on the daily look at young six coming for the god mc man and my guy loose, he got the Jordan connect like he's is really. What? Miami. Some of you never get rid of the message and that's on glow. What? Me, I like the way they got me feeling now and that's on pop. Anybody wanna get to rapping, we can make it happen on my guy's show. But remember, no be only two savage, that's on go. Yeah! <laughs> uh, this same song at an, that, that uh, interview where he did the freestyle on that song. He decided to like you know make it into a song and that is what we have right now i think uh, this is an intentional beef you know for uh, a person of um you know emma abaga against young sis and we should expect something from young sis anytime soon and a uh, young sis is somebody who is not going to let it slide after that interview young sis decided to like you know say something am i what are you saying man i watched the interview am i what are you saying what are you saying, am I? Yo, am I been doing a lot of things and trying to play like he being politically correct about a lot of up, boy, no crazy? But am I, you buggy, man. And today, I'm gonna spill the beans. And that's because I'm near Nigeria right now. But am I, you buggy. And when people try to play wise, and you always do this. That's why Vector was calling you a always do this and you always feel that you can outsmart people and find your way around words that will manipulate people into thinking something happened in a certain light you always keep doing this am i i'm not gonna take this anymore one of the reasons why i've been quiet to date is because of the love i have for you the only true thing you said in that whole interview was that to pay me so the first thing MI did was my first industry night 
and me and Emma were supposed to perform. Me and Emma were. So you will understand right now that uh, the beef is actually strong right now in the industry, and a lot of people are having a toll on that. And I think it's all interesting for us to believe at a point like this. And uh, people are really getting interested. People are really uh, finding a way to like you know say uh, you know what young sis you have to like understand something go into the vocal booth start your own version of the story and that is going to pop up the uh, hip hop or the rap sector in Nigeria a bit and I think that is the best way to go that is something I believe about this whole um, thing that is going on at a point like this and what is your own take about the story and what do you expect from um, you know um, a person of young sis against MI I think MI is going to like devour young sis when it, it comes to like rap battle that is something I believe because um, I believe that Emma is too vast when it comes to uh, flocabulary that is something I believe you know Emma is too vast uh, somebody who tried to match Emma in that is a person of uh, vector let's have uh, this Henny uh, performance you know where they did uh, vector uh, Tito Simo a person of um, you know Jesse Jagger and then uh, Emma himself let's have a glimpse of that I'm from another galaxy an alternate reality the supernatural of ready I swear ain't no parallel for the burning bush bring the fire sermon she let the naked eyes observe it look quite a hot suffer with the flow I always I, why I air that first deal her car that I move in grand theft all that now how's yeah my name is M.I. this is the moment so if you have to we're planning to drum his rap today please and then you know where I postpone it and guys before I jump off you have to like you know stay tuned to this YouTube channel if you are not subscribed yet you know you have to subscribe because you will be getting some classic um, you know report on the music industry across the globe across Africa and what happened in the streets and in the political sector also I love you guys keep supporting free West deep keep watching my videos and keep sharing my videos across social media platforms I love you guys